Bah! Hey everybody, this is Julian from Raw Physique again. All right, today I'm going to do an install on this. So basically this is a fix if you're getting water into your cabin and it is the air conditioning unit dripping and splashing down into your cabin from the engine bay of your vehicle, this is the part that you want. So when they manufactured the F-150 and they had these little ports come out that the water comes out, the condensation that builds up from your air conditioning unit, it ends up dripping back into the cabin, which creates a odor. It's kind of like, with mine, it's kind of like a boot smell, which is, which is horrible. You have nice leather, nice car, truck, and then you got a boot smell, like a wet, leather boot smell some type of musty smell but anyway there's multiple reasons that could happen let me show you a couple before the install all right so i was just editing the video and uh, this is a quick disclaimer i wanted to let you know i blabber on a lot more than i usually do with this install uh, a lot because i'm just trying to explain where the leaks are happening in the truck why there could be possibly leaks in your truck and how to fix and assess where those leaks are coming from in your truck on top of mentioning some installs that i plan on making videos on too so sorry for the rambling i was losing light at the time so it was making me blabber on and waste more time than i usually would but all right back to the install video and possible leak locations in your f-150 okay so first off here is the part right here that i'm gonna be installing this is it so what it does is it attaches to the drain port for the air conditioner and then it drips down and the water drips out of here instead of dribbling back into the cabin. So real quick, let me climb into my truck. Okay, so moving my bag, this is more difficult. Than... So there's a couple things here. Here is, it's kind of dark, here is the back. So I have the moon roof. This is a large moon roof. Uh, sunroof, moonroof, whatever you want to call it. So in the back of the truck, here's the back, there are tubes that run down here and over here. And what happens is, is, let me see if I can do some crazy maneuvers here, like Batman. So here's, here's the moonroof. So if you look here, if it will focus, focus. So this, these rubber gaskets all around the moonroof, they leak like crazy. Like during a rain, if you have the uh, moonroof screen open and it's just the glass, you could actually see water dripping, which is completely crazy, but you could see water dripping around the glass. And then what it does is it builds up around a lip that goes all the way around the entire moonroof. Hey. Anyway, all the way around the entire moonroof and drips down two tubes, drain tubes, that come out, oh geez, that come out underneath the rear tires. So the drains come out underneath the rear tires, and so you don't have to worry about it getting in your car. But if you're getting condensation in your vehicle, it could be from those being clogged and overflowing and then dripping onto your carpet. One thing you could do is, uh, if it's been raining for a while, you could open up your cabin and you could check here for a damp carpet, which generally means those are clogged or your rear window is leaking. There's another thing too. These lights right here, those leak also. Basically, all the doors could leak, the front and rear windows could leak, and if you have a moonroof, those drains could get clogged and they could leak, causing a smell. I don't think any of my carpet's been damp or anything. I've been checking for Jesus for like eight, nine months at this point because I, I notice an odor and it just keeps getting worse and worse and it smells more and more like a fucking shoe in here. Anyway, so uh, real quick. Hey, and I will show you an install on these. Hey, and these lights sometime. Uh, I'll do an install and reviews on everything. And if you're tired of your old subwoofer, which I keep mentioning, I love this. I literally mounted a sub. Let's see if you can get a view from this side. Mounted a sub on the bottom of the back seat and it, you could actually fold it down and everything works as it should. Okay, so yeah, if it's leaking from the front like the windshield, you should get water down here, you should be able to feel, feel it. And another thing, real quick, sorry, I'm just going through this fast because I, I'm really just trying to do the install, but wanted to show you guys what 
what the things could be. Another thing on the doors, all the doors, this, the front door, these doors, there are these tiny little, come on, focus, focus. Oh, look, I, I even, is this a twig? What is that? That's kind of creepy. Okay, yeah, so water that comes in from the window, that comes in from the window and drips like in between the win windows and the seals, they'll actually go into the doors and they will drain out here. So sometimes these guys get clogged and you could take, you know, a toothpick or something and scrape it out and water will literally flow out of those if it is clogged. There's one in the front and the rear of all the doors. There is also these plugs on the doors as well. You could remove these just, oh look, I could even do it with my finger, but yeah, you could remove those. Pretty simple, pretty easy. That allows a lot more water out, but uh, you really want these clean because otherwise the water level is gonna get up to here. So removing these will only do so much. And then your doors start rusting out and smelling and whatnot. Okay, I think that was enough mumbo jumbo. Also, before I forget it, I tried to install a new air filter to see if that would help too. So I just installed that. I'll do an install on that as well. This is the air filter that I installed. Uh, it's, it's kind of tricky, but it's literally behind here and up underneath the dashboard. So, so anyway, I'll make another video hopefully soon showing that install. Oh my God. All right. So I'm losing daylight. So let me, let me continue on with this. There we go. So the plug is on the passenger side. Ooh, I do not want to, I'm using my phone to do this and it is down there, right there to the left of the screen. It's got these little teeth. Well, you have to like yank, cut, or pull that off before you put the rubber elbow uh, like tube on. Just like I said, it drips out of there, but then it ends up dripping back. And that, the circle right there is actually like a, a foam. And let me show you that real quick. I could actually show you that underneath. So you guys can check it as well. Let's see here. Oh, I know you're just wanting me to do the install and I'm like, hey, let me show you this. Maybe we should, maybe we should look at this. I'll show you exactly where it is. So there's the glove box. You go down here, this right here, and underneath here will get wet. There's the circle. So that tube is right in here. So that will get wet after running your AC for a long time if you're having this issue. I, I can't imagine you not having an issue, especially maybe if you have a lift truck or you're doing the, the Carolina squat or something and that's that's like angled up, like it's gonna easily drip back. And they say the wind actually blows the condensation drain water uh, back you know, into the cabin and it soaks that foam piece that I just showed you. So anyway, uh, if you don't know why the hell your truck is smelling and you checked for all the leaks, it's most likely this crazy, crazy drain issue with the air conditioner. All right, so I actually have no clue how I'm going to do this. I saw, seen some people, let's see here. Hey, and don't diss the gloves. They're awesome. I've been doing repairs and working on cars for years. My hands always get jacked up and they're, they're constantly painful and cut and grossing out females and you wash your hands or get something on them. It's, it's horrible, it could be painful. Makes you look kind of rough though, which is good. This is what I'm gonna try to use. But anyway, don't diss the gloves, they're awesome. My hands have never been so, so soft. And they help out, I don't have to worry about my hands being dirty as hell either. It's, it's actually pretty awesome. Wearing gloves is the shit. If you've never worn gloves working before, you should totally try it out. Well worth it, try the gloves. All right, anyway, I keep procrastinating. Let me see if I could get this guy. Who the hell knows? I do not know. Standing on my little ladder. Oh, this is literally as far as I could reach. Oh, how the hell am I gonna reach that? Oh, I wonder. You know what I'm gonna try to do? All right, I am going to try to reach around here. Well, let me just see how plausible this is. Oh shit. Okay, so right behind here, I could actually feel the teeth. Hold on a second. All right, if this works, this will be pimp because I do not want to climb on the engine. Climbing on the engine would not be fun. 
and I don't want to take out these wheel well liners because I don't don't know how. <laughs> All right, this is harder than expected. All right, so so I literally can't get my arm in there. Uh, these uh, were they're kind of hooked. I'm gonna try to use this and see if that works. I do not know what I'm grabbing. Uh, I don't know if it's working. Hold on. Holy shit, I think it actually is working. You have to be careful not to damage the tube, though. The tube that the metal piece is actually clamped onto. Do not damage that. All right, I think I'm gonna have to climb in the, climb in the bay. This is great. All right, so I got a $1,300 iPhone leaning on a fucking tripod, leaning on a tree next to a giant stone. I'm sure this will get filled. So that wasn't too bad, look at that. This is, come on. Here's the piece that I took off. That's the teeth I was talking about. And now I'm going to install the tube. Real quick, cause I'm such a nice guy. I'll show you what it looks like without the tube on it. All right, you see that? So that's the tube without that metal bracket with the teeth on it. And that is what this goes on to. So let's do it. I'm gonna try to reach it from the tire because I could feel up in there, but I just couldn't, couldn't really find how to clamp this guy. Holy oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was falling. All right. So there's a long and a short side from what it looks like the long side gets put on, but we'll, I will see. It looks like it makes more sense this because it gives it a farther way to drip before I could actually splash back down the drain tube. But from what I've seen, you're supposed to put it on this way. So, oh, I hope I don't break anything. Hold on, I'm gonna try a trick. I'm gonna get some dish soap. So one trick is you take dish soap, you put it on your finger, and you put it on whatever gasket you're trying to get on. It helps out a lot. So, Doing the same thing here. It'll smell minty fresh or whatever the hell. I think it's on. I wanna make sure that it's really on there so it doesn't fall off when it gets hot or anything like that. Hot or weathered or wet. God, I hope this fixes the smell in my car. I can't imagine it going on any farther. Ooh, fuck. I am hurt myself. All right. I think, I think it's on. I think I did it. I think I fucking did it. All right, let's see. See that after product. Boom. See it back there? There you go. There's the finished product. So you see that will drip down instead of back to that foam. And it should just be dripping out there. So that is it. And also if your vehicle sit for a long time, I could show you how to install one of these. It is a charger that I just have I hot wired to the battery and then I have a long cable that runs from there all the way to right there because I have a Garmin dash cam mini and then up front, uh, hidden up there, I have a Garmin dash cam. And what I do is I let those bad boys run all the time, but if you only drive your car like once every three or four days, they drain the shit out of your battery. Even though it is auto detection or motion detection, they will come on for any reason, even on low sensitivity. So drains your battery, good to plug it up. But anyway, let's hope this repair that I just did will make my awesome M150 not smell like a damn boot. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you wanna see ground effects or anything like that, uh, you could actually use these for running lights, board lights, and I can tell you about the infamous 12 volt that connects to the interior lights. So they'll come on and off when you open the door. So you could use that for like LEDs, uh, which I have a set of LEDs. I use them to kind of turn into floodlights or uh, like running board lights. If you just put LEDs on your running boarded lights for at night or something like that. But, but anyway, if you're interested in more videos like this, please like and subscribe. There's other videos up here, workout videos, install videos. It's mainly a fitness channel, but I end up doing installs on my truck because 
why not? And I have a hard top bed liner review and other stuff on this guy. And there's going to be more. But anyway, love it up. Love it up. Love it up. Wrap it up. You do get used to, you do get used to these gloves. But anyway, I'm going to stop dragging on. Wear gloves. Glove it up. Wrap it up. Smack it up. Something like that. But yeah, gloves are awesome. Keep your hands clean and from getting cut to hell. And uh, that's it for today. <laughs> Peace.